Hey Devonshire, this is Mrs. Alar. Happy Tuesday or whenever you're watching this video. So in Mrs. Alar's class in second grade, we have been reading some of the books in the Magic Treehouse series. And this is the book, Dolphins at Daybreak. This is the book that we were on while we were still at school, but we never got to finish it. So I thought that we could finish it here. So I am going to read a chapter a day of the Magic Treehouse series, Dolphins at Daybreak. And what I'm going to do is when I post the read aloud or the video, I'm going to ask some questions. I'm going to ask you maybe about what happened or your predictions or maybe some vocabulary words. So let's get started of chapter one. So before we get started, let's take a preview of the book. So this is our front of the book. We see our title is Dolphins at Daybreak. And we see that the author is Mary Pope Osborne. Then when we take a preview of the back of the book, we learn some things. So let's start reading. It says, climb the ladder to adventure by reading Magic Treehouse books. So a lot of the times in chapter books, we have a little blurb on the back of the book that tells us what we're going to read about, so to prepare ourselves of what we're going to read. This blurb says, it's sink or swim. Sink means to go to the bottom of the water. Let's read. It's sink or swim for Jack and Annie when the Magic Treehouse whisks them off in the middle of the ocean. Luckily, they find a mini submarine on a coral reef. Unluckily, they are about to meet a giant octopus with one very hungry shark. Will the dolphins save the day, or are Jack and Annie doomed for dinner? You'll have fun finding out in Dolphins at Daybreak. So a little preview about what we're going to read. So in every Magic Treehouse books, Jack and Annie, the two main characters, are brother and sister. They have a magic tree house that when they go to it, they go on different missions and they get to go to different places around the world. So I thought it was kind of cool because we are the Devonshire Dolphins for this to be our first read aloud from the Magic Tree House series. So let's get started with chapter one. Magic Tree House, Dolphins at Daybreak. Table of Contents. Oh my goodness, we've been learning about this. Table of Contents is a page of the book that tells us where we could find certain information. So in chapter books, it tells us what page each chapter starts on. So for example, if I wanted to read chapter one right now, chapter one is called Master Librarians. And I would scooch my eyes over and see that Master Librarians start on page one. So we're going to go ahead and start chapter one on page one. Master Librarians. Jack stared out of the kitchen window. The sun was not up yet, but the sky was growing lighter. Jack had been awake for a long time. He had been thinking about the dream he had had, the dream about Morgan Le Fay. The treehouse is back, Morgan had said. I'm waiting. Jack wished his dreams were real. He missed Morgan's magic treehouse. So we're getting a little bit of information about Morgan. Morgan is the person who brings the treehouse to Jack and Annie. So right now, Jack is just dreaming about the treehouse. Jack! His little sister Annie appeared in the doorway. We have to go to the woods now, she said. Why? Jack asked. I had a dream about Morgan, exclaimed Annie. She said the treehouse is back and that she is waiting for us. That was my dream, said Jack. Oh, wow, said Annie. She told you too? This must be important. But dreams aren't real, said Jack. Some dreams aren't real, but this one is, said Annie. I can just feel it. She opened the back door. I'll see you later. Wait, wait, I'm coming, said Jack. He raced up the stairs. Having the same dream must mean something, he thought. He grabbed his backpack and threw his notebook and pencil into it. Then he ran downstairs. We'll be back soon, Mom, Jack called into the living room. Where are you going so early, his dad called. Just for a quick walk, said Jack. But it rained last night, called his mom. Don't get your shoes wet. We won't. Jack slipped out the door. Annie was waiting for him. Let's go, she said. The sky was pale gray. The air felt freshly washed. Jack and Annie ran up their quiet street to the Frog Creek Woods. They headed between the trees. Soon, they came to the tallest oak in the woods. There was a wooden house high up in the treetop. It's back, whispered Jack. Someone looked out the window of the treehouse. 
a lovely old woman with long white hair, Morgan Le Fay. Come up, called the magic librarian. So now we're learning who Morgan Le Fay is. Morgan Le Fay is the master librarian. Jack and Annie climbed up the rope ladder and into the treehouse. In the dawn light, they stared at Morgan Le Fay. She was beautiful in a red velvet robe. Jack pushed his glasses into place. He could not smile, smiling. We both had dreams about you, said Annie. I know, said Morgan. You do? Yes, I sent them to you, said Morgan, because I need your help. What kind of help, said Jack. Merlin, the magician, has been up to his tricks again, said Morgan. So I haven't had any time to collect books for Camelot's library. Can we collect them for you, asked Annie. Yes, but in order to gather the books, you must be master librarians, said Morgan. Oh, well, Annie said sadly, but you can become master librarian, said Morgan, if you pass the test. Really, said Annie, what kind of test, Jack asked. You must show that you know how to do research. <gasps> Second graders, do you know how to do research? We've been doing it so you could probably be master librarians, for sure. You need to show that you could find the answers to questions. What do researchers do? They ask and search for answers to questions. How, said Annie. By solving four riddles, said Morgan. She reached into the folds of her robe and pulled out a piece of paper. The first riddle is written on this ancient scroll. This book will help you find the answer. She held out the book. On the cover were the words, Ocean Guide. This is where you have to go, said Morgan. The ocean, oh boy, said Annie. She pointed at the cover. I wish we... Stop! Jack grabbed Annie's hand. How do we know if we find the right answer to the riddle? He asked Morgan. You will know, Morgan said, very mysteriously. I promise, you'll know. Jack let go of Annie's hand. She pointed again at the cover and finished her words. I wish we could go here. The wind started to blow. Are you coming with us, Morgan? Jack said. But before Morgan could answer, the treehouse started to spin. Jack squeezed his eyes shut. The treehouse spun faster and faster than everything was still. Absolutely still. Jack opened his eyes. Morgan Le Fay was gone. Only the ancient scroll and the ocean book were left in her place. And that is the end of chapter one. Tomorrow we'll find out where Jack and Annie are and what is the riddle they need to solve. I hope you enjoyed chapter one of Dolphins at Daybreak. Check in tomorrow for chapter two. See you later.